guys. My name's John. Uh, as an intro to this channel, it's basically going to be for people just picking up guitar and getting started, or some intermediate to advanced players who also learn some tips and tricks and stuff like that along the way. I uh, hope you guys all enjoy this. Let's start from the beginning. There's two types of guitars. You could either get an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. There's pluses and minuses to both. Now with an acoustic guitar you could bring it to parties, you could bring it wherever you want, you don't have to plug it in, though you can. And it's a little bit harder when you're first starting out, it's a little bit harder to press down on the strings. Now with an electric guitar, that you're always going to need an amplifier for, which could cost a little more money if you're just starting getting out playing guitar. And the strings are a little easier to press down, so it's not that not a big turn off in the beginning when you're first getting started. A lot of people complain, oh my, my fingers hurt, oh, I can't press down the strings hard enough, etc. Now the first thing I want to go over is tuning a guitar. It's very simple. I recommend all my students get something called Guitar Tuna. Guitar Tuna. It's on Google Play or the iOS store. Pick up that app and it actually shows you all the strings of the guitar. E, A, D, G, B, E. And as you pluck each one, it'll tell you t if your tuner needs to be tightened or looser. And you just do that and as soon as it's on key, it gives you a nice little pitch. Ding! And you're good to go. So that's called Guitar Tuna. The names of the strings on the guitar, like I said a second ago, top string is E, next string is A, D, G, B, and E. Now what I want you to do first is find a way, just cover the strings with your hand without pressing down. So you just get, uh, you're muting the strings. That's how you're going to practice strumming in the beginning. You can practice just going down or down and up. Down, down and up. And this will get your hand used to strumming. So when I teach you chords and stuff like that, it'll be much easier for you with your right hand. Now picking the guitar. A lot of people use a guitar pick. It gives a little brighter sound, a little louder sound. Uh, and some people like to use their fingers. It's completely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. One good exercise I'd say to practice your picking would be to start out on the guitar, just go one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Then you can go backwards. Now as I'm doing that, if you want to watch my right hand, I'm actually alternating my picking. Which all alternating picking means you go down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up with the pick. Now when you're first getting started, I recommend just doing down strokes. But once you're comfortable with the down strokes, you can do the back and forth motion. Now a great first song or type of song to learn is a 12 bar blues. Anywhere you go, any musician you're jamming with in the future, they're going to know the 12 bar blues and you guys will be able to play together. I'm going to teach you that right now. Basically, a blues rhythm goes 
Now what I want you to do is take your pointer finger, put it up on top of the 5th fret on the 6th string, and your ring finger on the 7th fret of the A string, the 5th string. And that's called a 5th, that's a power chord. You play the top two strings together, and that's a power chord right there. Uh, the next chord we're going to learn, that one was an A, A power chord. Next is a D power chord. All you're going to do is move each finger up one string. So now I have my first finger on the 5th fret A string, the 5th string, and my ring finger on the 7th fret on the fourth string, the D string. Next chord is going to be E. All you do is take that same exact shape, the same shape from the first chord, same shape from the second chord, and you're just going to slide it up two frets. One, two. It's only two frets apart. First finger top string, second finger, fifth string. Take that same pattern, move it down one string each, and you got a D. Move it two frets up, and you got an E. Now, a basic blues progression would be basic 12 bar blues would be. So I'll repeat that one more time. You're going A, D, A, E, D. One more thing that you could add a little flair to it with, after you get comfortable with the power chords, you're going to be able to play a lot of rock songs, because a lot of rock songs use power chords. But after you get more comfortable with the chords and getting a nice little bluesy rhythm to it, you could add in, let's see, first, first finger, sixth string, fifth fret, ring finger, fifth string, seventh fret, and you could add your pinky on that ninth right there, the ninth fret of the fifth string. So regular A chord, power chord, where you're gonna add your pinky on the fifth string. That's a cool way to get like a bluesy feel and get that into power chords. So we have strumming. You guys got to practice. Just mute the strings and just practice strumming. Then for picking, I want you to practice the one, two, three, four on each string.
your blues rhythm. And your power chords A, D, and E. I hope you guys got enough to practice here. This is a Good for a first guitar lesson. I don't want you to get discouraged by throwing too much information at you at once. But this is a perfect thing to practice for a few days or however, as soon as you're comfortable with everything, check back and I should have another video up. You guys have a great day.